Hi there. Welcome to City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial number 19. We're continuing to build our city. Uh, in 18, we put in our hydropower plants and some of our roads. We're now going to try and run some electric and water from this area. So we're, we're uh, in the electric section, but I'll show you how to get into it. Oh, lovely. We're, we're at nighttime, but because we're going to go in electric, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go into the electric icon down here at the bottom. See, down at the bottom. <clears throat> click on your electric icon, then click on the furthest to the left power line icon. I hope you can see that. And then we're going to run electric up into our city here from this one. We're just going to go down here where our upper dam is and make certain we put one of these little power lines in the purple area. Running it from the purple area up into part of the grid line that is next to the roads there. That should give us uh, electricity to that section. <clears throat> now we're going to go back down and, and that's all the electricity we're going to work on there for now. Now we're going to go back down to the to the um, bottom hydro power plant. See, this is the bottom one. There's the top one. This is the bottom one. And down here on the bottom one, we're going to put in. Um, we're going to go to the water icon, which is the fifth one from the left. And on the third icon in the tab up there. We're going to click on the water pumping station. And then we're going to run, um, well, we can't do it yet because the water is not ready, but this is where it's going to start. Maybe we can do it on this one up here. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, we can do it on this one. OK, so we know that we've got water coming out of this one. And if it's red, if the pumping station is red, it's not in a place that it can work. If it is green, then it's happy and it's going to work there. So once we get it green, we left click the mouse button to put it in. And then we tip it so we can see the little circle on it. There's a circle on this thing. Um, go down and click on the pipe because we're going to now install a pipe and uh, get the pipe on the circle there where where it'll it'll just bounce right in if you get it close click on it pull it out a little bit so you can see what you're doing and then pull out all the way so that you can get up to where the road is does this doesn't have to be exact it could be here if you want it it could be over here I like to run it down the middle of the road because then I know it's going to if I can because I know it's going to cover everything that way you need the um, blue section around the pipe to be covering the grid lines that people are going to build on uh, in order to make certain that everybody's getting enough water. So then I'm going to right click to get it loose from this one back here and left click again to install to grab the pipe here and move out from it. And I'm going to take it all the way across and into the inside and then over and down. Looks like that went all the way down, so we're good there. Down here. All I'm trying to do is cover everything with the blue. Every place that I would be building something. Um, again, right clicking disconnects it and left clicking on the piping anywhere that you want to will connect it for you again. Okay, and then we go up here and left click and over here and left click. Very simple. Left clicking, left clicking, left clicking, left clicking, left clicking. And then we're going to go down here. You notice I right clicked to let go. Okay. And then down here we're going to left click to reinstall to reconnect to the piping and left click 
and then left click here now I'm still connected if I keep going around here that's going to try and put a pipe somewhere so I want to right click and that disconnects me see how I'm disconnected now that's all there is to it now we need to run piping also from here down to this area because this is where we're going to put our septic lines um, so and we're going to have to run electric down to it as well so we'll start down here with our piping run it down here it can go anywhere it can go it can go across water pi water pipes can go anywhere I don't know why they just can and so um, I usually just run them in a straight line and then we want to take it over here because this is where we're going to have um, our septic lines okay but they're not going to run unless we put in I'll show you if we go in to the water and we go over to the fourth icon over this was our water pump that we were on it, if we go one to the right of that we get to our water drain pipe that's our septic pipe if we were in hard mode we'd use that because it's cheaper but we're going to go all the way to the left and get the water treatment plant costs a lot more uh, does a lot more and we're not we don't have we don't care about the price because we're in easy mode and so again we install it as close to the outside of the border as we can get now it doesn't like it here because the bridge is going over okay we could actually put it there but that's going to make it hard maybe we'll do that later if we have to we'll stick it right here you can see that the water is flowing in this direction out of the city that's what we want so as soon as it turns green we click on it and it's installed um, two things we have to put a pipe on it just like we did with everything else and again it has a little circle that we stick our pipe on and then left click to connect and then take it over and left click on the um, on the piping here now you would think that that's all you have to do right but if we let if we turn things on now it's going to be it's going to have a little icon on it that says hey where's my electricity you know I've got water here but I can't I can't pump anything out I, where's my electricity so we're going to have to go back and get electricity for this guy down here so we're going to the bottom we took all of our residential uh, electricity up here from the top dam but we can take our uh, electricity from the bottom dam so it doesn't have to go so far to take it over to the sewer right so we'll click on again we'll click on the electric icon click on the power icon then go over here into the purple section and make sure that we're in the purple section and it, I don't know if it'll do it where the water is flowing. We'll try. Nope. It says distance too short, slope too steep. There we go. Okay. I guess it will. Yay. Okay. So now we're going to, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and run it out here just to get it out of that other area where we might want to put something since it'll go here and run it along this piece. And where is it? There we go. And then we'll take it across the uh, um, there. When it turns green, you can you can click it. I'm taking it across the freeway here, in case anybody's wondering where that's going. Okay. And we're just going to click it into the purple area where it says, "Okay, if you get this close to me, I'll get electricity." And once you click there, you'll see that little icon going away. See, it's no longer demanding electricity. Now it's going to work. It doesn't have any sewage to dump into the water yet because we don't have people, but we'll get there. Okay, now that we have water and electricity coming up to this area, we can, just this little piece, we can put in some zoning for it so we'll go ahead and zone this for small houses we'll put a couple small houses in here by just zoning all you do is you click on this little zoning icon um, I should have run you through that slowly 
see it's already uh, um, got people going into it. I'm going to put it on pause here so that you can see what's going on and it won't go by too fast. Okay, buildings are already being built here because we've zoned it for residential, small houses. These are small houses, these are um, a condos, apartment buildings. And um, I've got it on fill, so it fills an entire area at once. If I had it on the little square, it would let me pick my squares. It would let me say, okay, I don't want anything in there. I'm just going to put something here. Okay, I'm not going to do that because there's no way for the electricity to get from one area to another. Electricity flows with the buildings. If the buildings are getting electricity from this piece, then it's it's flowing out with the buildings. But if we put another zone over here as we did, there's no electricity going over there. We have to put a little park or something in here or run another one of these sets of uh, um, these power lines from this spot to over where we're asking for more residential. So I'm going to take that out for now. Same way, just using that little piece. This little brown thing over here takes out any zoning that you made a mistake and didn't really want that. Okay. So um, we'll go ahead and put this in for now. We're just going to do residential, I think. Let me just check and see what I had planned here. Okay, I'm back. I did plan residential and schools for this area, so uh, we've put in some residential. We're going to put in some more residential along this back section. So we can go ahead and stop with the squares and go ahead and go back to the fill. It's faster. If you know you're going to do a whole area, you might as well just do the fill. Okay, so now we have residential, all small houses, not a lot. And then we're going to go up here to the icon that looks like a book. It's next to the one that looks like a bus. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to get ourselves a elementary school and put that in across from the residential. OK, see where the houses are here? We're going to put an elementary school in here. All we did was go to the book, go to the icon for elementary. This icon is for history. I mean for high school and this icon is for university. So we're going to go to the one for elementary and then go up here and just place it. It'll turn green as soon as it's against a road and it likes where it's at. Click on it. Um, you can go ahead and put a second one here because you're going to need at least two. Same thing with the high school. Maybe we'll put the high schools up here on this one. Now, you don't have to put yours in exactly this spot. I'm just showing you how you do it. Okay, and the universities, I'm going to put the university down in here later. We're not going to need it right this minute. Okay, but at least we have that much. And um, we'll go ahead and zone in here in this area. Right now, we can go ahead and put housing in here just so that the electricity will flow. But we don't really need it. Uh, in this area, we're going to fill it in with schools eventually. Um, but right now, in order to get the electricity to follow over to this area, we're going to need to have housing in here or something in here. Um, this one right here, I forgot I was going to put in uh, another little road coming down. So we'll go ahead and put a road in here. Uh, this is where I'm going to have uh, the uh, hospital, the police department, the fire department, things like that. So we'll put that road in there. And we're probably going to, uh, if we turn this on now, and we go to electric and we watch it, we can see where the purple is just filling in as it goes along. And if we take and put residential up here, once we've got this this far, it might jump because of this one. If it doesn't, we'll have to put in some of these guys. Okay, so we're going to go to residential. And again, we're going to just put in little houses here and see if it'll jump. Go back to the electricity and watch it and see if it jumps over. 
doesn't look like it's going to. And you can see where they, they have little icons that come up that say, with a water drop. As new houses go in for a second, they ask for water until they find the water pipe that's right in front of them. But they do ask for it. It doesn't look like that's going to go over. So we'll go ahead and grab a power line. And we'll have to probably start here, see if it'll go all the way across for us. And then we'll go into this section and see if that allows people to come in here and start putting housing into this area. It might take a while. Um, because we don't have any, if you look at this little, little, these three little bars down here on the bottom, if you, um, if it, the green is residential. If it has no more need for residential, but it has a lot of need for commercial, it's going to ask for commercial. And it's not going to give you any more residential until you get commercial in there. So we'll go ahead and put some commercial, which is zoning, and and over here, um, the first one is low density commercial. It's like Safeway stores, drug stores, that kind of thing. And because we don't want this whole thing to be commercial, we're going to go to the little squares and just grab this piece. Holding down the left mouse button, we're going to grab everything except the, the front road area there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here and just put it in this section. So we get some commercial that will fill this area in for us. Okay, now we've got icons down here that are telling us that we need a police department. If you go down here where this little icon is, looks like a police badge, it says crime rate is high. That means it's time to get those police, the police department in now. And the fire department. Obviously, we need the fire department. So, uh, I'm going to click on pause. The reason I'm doing that is I'm at 17 minutes and I have to end this tutorial. But we'll go to tutorial 20 and we'll solve these problems. So, I'll see you in tutorial 20. Bye.